binafsi nina watu wengi sana ninaofahamiana nao ambao tumejuana kwenye kipindi hiki cha zaidi ya miaka kumi na mitano ya kufanya kazi hii. Wengi wao hushia story zao mbali mbali za maisha yao yalojaa kupanda na kushuka nami. Sote tunajua maisha ni milima na mabonde na kila siku kuna mafunzo mapya katika maisha yetu. Hizi ni baadhi ya hizo story ambazo watu hawa hukutana au wamekutana nazo katika maisha yao ambazo zitakufanya usome, uwaze au uangalie vitu kwa umakini zaidi na pia kujifunza. Mimi ni salama. Hawa ni rafiki zangu na sote tunakukaribisha wewe kwenye salama na Habari yako? Unajisikiaje na hali? Yangu matumaini ni mzima sana. Na kukaribisha kwenye wasaa huu ambao nitakuwa na mazungumzo mimi pamoja na mgeni wangu na mgeni wangu wa leo ni rafiki yangu, ni dada yangu, ni bosi wangu. <laughs> Karibu kwenye salama na Madam Rita. Uwezi kuamini? I was practicing in the morning. Niseme Madam Rita, niseme Rita ama nisemeje? Nikasema nitasema Madam Rita kwa sababu hivyo ndio watu wanapokufahamu, si ndio? Una shida asante sana. Tuanze kwa kuzungumzia binafsi. Kwa hiyo swali langu la kwanza la kizushi. Um, kikawaida huwa unaamka saa ngapi? Mimi inategemea. Uh, mimi huamka saa 12 na inategemea kama nina kazi ya kufanya naweza kuamka hata kabla kwa sababu wa kama kuna kitu cha kufanya silali sana it keeps ringing in my head. Mm. Kwa naweza niamke lakini sio lazima niamke kwamba nitembee ndani lakini nimeamka ama wake and thinking. Kitu gani ambacho nadhani hatujui kuhusu wewe? Um, sijui vitu kitu watu watu hawajui ni kwamba uh, amelona I have anapenda muda wangu peke yangu. Na huo muda ni very uh, niko niko bubbly um, napenda kwa fun na nini lakini hauwezi kujua how much of a, how much of a person napenda muda wangu peke yangu na meditate sana ni mtu ambaye napenda uh, afya yangu sana mazoezi ni very important kwangu iwe ni yoga iwe ni iwe ni nafanya mazoezi kwenye tv lakini ninahitaji masaa yangu mengi sana ya kuwa peke yangu kutokuongea na mtu kwa hiyo ni kitu ambacho kinasaidia mimi sana to recuperate to recoup vitu ambavyo vimefanyika hata kama nikitoka nikirudi late lazima kwe kuna masaa ambayo nitatafakari vitu kwa muda mrefu peke yangu mm. yeah sijua nawahitaji watu wa aina hiyo hata sielewi lakini ndio wao wow. <laughs> <laughs> i'm sure wako wengi yeah um ili mtu awe rafiki yako mm. anatakiwa awe na vigezo gani kama wewe hivi <laughs> vigezo kigezo cha kwanza inabidi mtu akiwa awe ni awasiwe mnafiki awe ni e, kwa sababu mtu alivyo ana reciprocate kwa hiyo mtu ukiwa uta, utakuwa rafiki yangu uh, kwa kukuona tu najua huyo utakuwa rafiki yangu kwa sababu kuna vitu fulani fulani mimi havinivutii na huweza hata kunisogelea yani uta, yani how to you not go through my path una kwa hiyo ukiona wewe ni rafiki yangu ni kwamba uh, I, i attract the right people because i know what i want kwa hiyo Napenda watu ambao ni wawazi, sipendi watu waongo, sipendi watu wanafiki na napenda watu ambao wana dhamira kwenye maisha. Kuna siku moja tulikuwa Arusha, sometime back, naweza kafika hata miaka sita au saba. E, kuna kundi la watu, wanaume walinifuata wakanambia kwamba e, Rita ambaye unakutana naye usiku <laughs> sio Rita ambaye unakutana naye asubuhi. Unakumbuka? Sijui, yeah. Nadhani so unakumbuka mm-hmm. eh kwamba E, una sura mbili una sura ya kazi na una sura ya kusocialize kweli ili kujaje kujaje na kwa mawazo yako unadhani hiko ndo kitu ambacho kimekufanya wewe uwe hapo ulipo leo ndio kwa sababu uh, kazi ni kazi na socializing ni socializing lazima kwe kuna uwe unaweza ku a line na hiyo ni line ambayo na draw hata kwa urafiki hiyo ni line ambayo na draw hata kwa familia kwamba kuna muda wa kila kitu tutacheza tutacheka when it comes to work i change because ndio maana i am who i am today kwa sababu nilikuwa naweza kuweka line kwenye kila kitu mm. mahusiano kazi familia urafiki kwa hiyo mimi uh, kazi ni muhimu sana tunaweza tukacheka afu kuchangia lakini ni kwa sababu ninajua kwamba we have to work na kama huwezi ku draw a line katika kazi huwezi kufanikiwa 
sababu utakuwa muda wako unatumika sana kufurahisha watu wengine. Mimi napenda kufurahisha watu wengine lakini when it comes to work, hiyo furaha tutaipataje kama hatujafanya kazi? Naona mm. na ni rahisi sana kuharibu ka maisha yako kama utakuwa huwezi ku draw a line kati ya urafiki, social na kazi. So, uh, mwaka jana mm. <coughs> eh baada ya kufanya bongo sasa kama misimu kumi na moja. Mm. Kulikuwa kuna story kwenye mitandao mm. kwamba autoi zaadi kwa washindi. Mm. E, na mmoja kati ya mawina wao mwaka ali, alienda serikalini. Mm. Mwisho wa siku nadhani story ilishia kwamba hakuwa kuna ukweli wote ndani yake. Mm-hmm. Na kwamba e, mimi najua kwamba wewe na na mshindi mko mna mnakubaliano mna yenu kama utojali naomba unielezee kitu ambacho kilitokea siku ile na uliambiwa au ulikutana nayo kwenye social media tu kama mimi na watu wengine kitu kilichotokea uh, kilikuwa very unfair kwangu mimi kusema na ukweli kwa hiyo kipindi hicho ilikuwa ndo uh, show imeisha kawaida kuna watu waishawahi kusubiri ya zao mtu kama Walter Chirambo na tulikuwa na tuna sponsor mkubwa tu uh, hela yake kachelewa miezi mitano Hela hiyo kijana ilikuwa haijafika hata miezi minne. Show ya finali ilifanyika mwezi wa 12. Kwa alitubiri mwezi wa kwanza, wa pili ndo corona imeanza kutokea. Kwa hiyo kulibaki ma, ma, na, na pendings nyingi nyingi kwa sababu sisi na sponsor tunakubaliana hivi. Um, hela wanazotupa hazikizi sponsorship. Kwa hiyo tunakubaliana kwamba wakileta sponsors wao wanatupa 40%. Sisi tukileta sponsor mwingine pia tunawapa tunawapa 40%. Kwa hiyo sisi tunachukua 60 kwa sababu gharama ya BSS ni kubwa sana na high sponsorship yao haikidhi 100%. BSS bila ili kukamilika kila mtu alipo kwa wakati ni nini so chini ya milioni 700,800. So ikawa kwamba uh, mwaka huo wa hiyo issue iliyotokea hakuna mmoja, mtu hata mmoja kati ya sisi wawili partners aliyepata extra sponsor. Kwa hiyo show ilivoisha kasema mambo yote yaliyobakia kwa kukamishwa tutachukua advance ya season 11. Unasikia? Tumalizane na huyo kijana which was early uh, early, uh, early early maybe February. But that could not, could not be possible because kuna m- watu wa upande wao ambao pia walikuwa wamekwama Beijing huko. You know? So so hiyo hiyo haikuwa kwamba eti hatuna hiyo hela kwa contract is money. Do you understand? So contract is money. So sisi tuna mipango yetu na jinsi tunafanya na hii ni biashara. Mtu yote ambaye amewahi kufanya biashara anaelewa kwamba kuna hiccups hapa na pale. Halikuwa lengo kwamba eti mtu hatu. Mimi The fact kwamba tunalipa washindi ndio maana BSS ipo mpaka leo season 12. Mimi na Basata, sisi na Basata, Maremu Mwongereza na Basata nzima kina Makame, we in sync. They knew exactly what was going on. They knew, yani we in sync. We're doing very well with Basata because lazima uwape updates. Na mtu kwanza mtu ambaye anataka anaidai, anaidai tuseme kama kipindi au Mungu sasa cha nini, sehemu ya kwanza kwenda ni Basata. Sio wizarani. Kwa sababu mimi ni mjasiri ili niumiza sana. At some points kutegemea kama nitakuja kufanya tena hii bongo sasa. Samani kidogo na mimi napata kinywaji. Ehe. So basata? Basata tuko nao vizuri nzingi. Basata wao ndio wa kwanza kushtuka. Wananipigia simu, "Mada, umeona hii?" How can that be happen? Can, can that be true? You've worked with me for all these years. So who will come? So Kayumba was paid 50 million. Wote wale wakina Haji Ramadhani, wakina nani? Wote how they were paid their money. And the good thing, we have a uh, uh, city. Sisi city tuko very professional vitu vyetu especially vinavohusu hayo mambo. Kwa hiyo copy ziko basata. Bank start bank statements ziko pale. Uh, bank slips ziko pale kila kitu sisi ndio tunawafungulia accounts wanakuwaga hawana account hawana id hawana chochote kwa hiyo pale mimi napenda kugombana kwa hoja vitu vikiwa ni vigumu kama hivyo hata siongei sana 
I'm gonna show you by action, not by talking. Ba bada hayo yote, bada mitihani hiyo yote. Na najua mitihani mingine ambayo uko na kumbana nayo nyuma hata kabla hiyo situation ya ya msimu wa 10 haijatokea. Kwa nini unaendelea kufanya? Uh, sijui kwa nini nafanya lakini nahisi ni it's like a calling. Yaani ni kitu rafikili eh, kwanza mimi napenda challenges niseme ule ukweli. <laughs> Nafikiri kingekuwa ni rahisi sana ningekuwa nishaachana nacho. Kwa hiyo nafikiri na ninaangalia kwa sababu mimi ninaona ni watu wanao benefit kupitia BSS, wengine watu wanaweza wasione. Kwa hiyo inanipa faraja na hisi ndio success ndio nayo. Kwa I see someone's life changing from that to that. Wote acha tu washiriki na wengineo. Kwa hiyo naona kwamba hichi ni kitu ambacho out of this thought that I, I created it unjua kifanya kuna watu wanadifunza kuna watu wanabadilika maisha yao wanaweza wasio master wakubwa kama nini lakini i see the movement i see that touch huyu alikuwa hivi kwa sababu tunawafuatilia tunajua huyu alikuwa anauza mayai sasa hivi anaendesha gari hiyo inanipa faraja i think hiyo in i feel like a very rich person mm. nafikiri hivyo ndo success ilivyo sio kuwa na hela nyingi kwenye bank lakini ile ukikutana na huyu kamuona au kamuona kamkumbuka alipokuwa inakupa kitu fulani unajisikia vizuri unataka kufanya tena uh, kwa sababu mimi wewe ni rafiki yangu tunajuana tunaheshimiana najua kwamba safari yako ya maisha kama mtu mzima ilianza ukiwa mdogo sana uh-huh. kwa msichana mdogo ambaye yuko nyumbani na wazazi wake akipata mimba wakati yuko mdogo Teenager, Cindy, you are 13 years old. Was it 14? 14. 14 years old. Una unawezaje ku kutoka huko na kusimama na kuwa mtu kama ambayo upo wewe sasa hivi. Kusema na ukweli unahitaji ujasiri wa hali ya juu. Mimi naweza kujizungumzia mimi kama mimi. Labda nataji, mtu atajifunza kutoka kwangu. Mimi nilikuwa uh, nilikuwa niko tayari kwa chochote kile. Thank you mami wakati akachofanya kwangu mimi lakini i was like whatever happens i will live for this child i will do whatever it takes for this child to get what i didn't get to do kwa hiyo ujasiri unatokana na kuwa focused na niseme tu when you are a mother aidarishi una miaka mingapi muda ule ule unakuwa mtu mzima ilikwaje ukapata mimba ulikuwa ah. boyfriend <laughs> huyu jamaa alikuwa jamaa yako au ulibakwa au uli ulikuwa una mtu wako kwamba you know what accidents is not okay kuna sex education tunaangalia kwenye Netflix watu wanaanza mambo wakiwa watoto sana ulikuwa ni mtoto wa aina hiyo mimi nimekulia kwenye boarding school nimeenda boarding school tangu na miaka sita. Uh, sisi tulikuwa hatuna maongezi sana sexu, ya mambo ya sex na, wa, na, na wazazi na wamama unaona kwa hiyo unakuwa vitu vingi hao vijui na unashindwa unaogopa kumuuliza mama. You know, hata hiyo unapata period unaongea tu kwa mzunguzi mama kwa sababu hamna hiyo mazungumzo na huo urafiki kipindi hicho. It was an accident that was not in a relationship. I was not even in love with a guy. Kwa hiyo it was an accident. Let me leave it there. I was not raped either. Kwat mesoma shule ya ya Kikatoliki sana na ya dini sana na girls school only. Nyumbani mazungumzo yalikuwaaje? <laughs> mazungumzo yalikuwa ngumu kwa sababu my dad had just passed. Mm. My dad died at 12. Kwa tulikuwa bado haijaisha muda, bado tuna 12, 14. Kwa hiyo it was so fresh kwa kwenye familia kwamba my dad died and Mom was also young, very young. My mom is a real mama, I quack Yana son. Well, story short, Kwanza and request you come and Namima Paka Mimba and Amis Saba. Quayo Nico too in school, secondary. Um, Sana Moja, Janjam Janja, a car and Yona to Nakadis, Kimoja, and a sincere, sincere son. A kinimini quanim chesa Jim Zuisana on it all. 
kwa hiyo nilikuwa nacheza sana nacheza sana lakini nilisha notice kwamba nikafikiri nimenenepa tu for my boobs were bigger but nothing kama hiyo pregnancy ambayo nikafikiria ndio ipo kwa hiyo msichana tunakaa desk moja kila saa ananisema uko kaya rita nasinzia hivyo kana mchukia mimi kwa hiyo akaongea huko rumors tuko boarding school boarding school moja so sana in camp in Uganda akasema akamwambia um, msichana mmoja i think rita is pregnant sasa nikasikia huo umbea so unajua mimi sinaga siri siri kinaambia umbea naenda nasema kwa ana usika nikaenda kumwambia head girl kamshtaki leo dada kambia huyu ana spread rumor that mm. mimi am pregnant <laughs> yupi kamuita kwa anaitwa babra storm sahau mhm akasema ni babra amesema where are you nikambia me i'm not you know that akanita alikuwa na cubic yake mwenyewe as a head girl kambia kaapo are you sure you are not nikambia i am sure i'm not kaza kulia me i'm not no 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 basi akaambia of your brows can you press my titties nipo press my wewe uki press titties zako kama hauko pregnant siwezi kutoka uh, liquid eh yeah, press and see <laughs> mhm well you say when you press you can press Psst. aya tuna box mega <laughs> kata mm. akasema you want ndivyokuwa naogopa hiyo shule ma sister ntaendaje na nini kwa hiyo yeye alikuwa mkubwa yeye akanishauri akaniambia mimi naweza nikakusaidia tuende ukafanya abortion mimi akasema eh hey, mimi naweza mimi nini deni i know i know people kwa sababu alikuwa ni mkubwa nilipofika mipango amepanga nilipofika pale nilipoingia tu pale ndani ya hospital the doctor came looked at me like i'm coming back so sit up there alifofanya tu hivi mguu ya tu vyangu out i left i went home i got into a bus and i went home kama 2 hours drive i was like i am not going to do this so me i loved my child before even i saw that child there was me i'm 14 i got an opportunity to abort this kid i have no idea to, i don't know even what my mother is going to say but i was like whatever the world na liwe me and this child so i was ready If they want this hiyo suggestion ya mimi kwa boto au fanya nini labda mimi waniwe naye huko ndani nikasikia nimeconnect naye sana mm-hmm. mambo nimefika nikadanganya pale nikasema tuko two week break wakati najitafakari tumefunga kwa two weeks mama mshamba fika pale nikasema anajua lazima nijiue nini nijiue mm-hmm. kwa sababu wataniambia nitoe au watanifukuza so nikawa natoka nje kuna maua fulani tu kwa tunaambiwa tusichezee ukinywa unaweza ukafa. Nikachukua ile maua usiku na koroga kwenye maji. Nakaa kwenye kitana ready to die. Shika kitu hivi. Msikini. Nitakunywa kesho na ikachinya kitana. One week constantly na koroga hiyo maua ninywe nife. I didn't do it. I didn't drink to die. I wanted to die because my mama alikuwa hajajua nema anti kimbere mbere ndo akaniona kanipia ndo akamwambia mazangu ya yuko sawa you know what i mean mm-hmm. ah. i was sad then uh, my mama was like okay my uncles my brothers my brother my mama said i know this is a disgrace that is to mondo hapa and you can say nyingine that's another story of another day so very wrong story so literally i had to be moved from my home where it's my dad's home where i was born to go stay somewhere else kwa sababu i was called a disgrace like kuzalia kwa nyumba ya baba yako it's a disgrace ni aibu ni kitu kama hivyo especially wa jomba wa jomba so they had to take me somewhere else where i suffered a lot and then i gave birth to this kid and then i came back I toroka there with my three months baby I'm like mama i'm here now kill me the baby and i want to go back to school and she was so apologetic like wow i'm so sorry like that. So yeah. Kwa hiyo nilikuwa niko mjasiri hata sijui ni ujasiri nilikuwa na utoa wapi. Kibongo bongo kuna story kwamba wewe sio mbongo. Sawa? Yaani kwa ah yule mzungu yule. Ila mimi kama rafiki yako najua kabila zako zote 40 hizo nazo. So kwa rekodi leo naomba utuambie wewe asili yako ni wapi? 
na umezaliwa wapi? Mimi nimezaliwa Karagwe. Kuna kijiji kinaitwa Murongo, ni mpakani mwa Uganda na Tanzania, right on the border. Uh, mama yangu anatokea Rwanda lakini walihamia zamani eh, Tanzania wakawa enzi wakapewa uraia wa Tanzania baba yangu uh, ni nusu ni mjerumani mama yake ni msukuma kutoka Sengerema kwa hiyo mimi nina kabila tatu na, na kabila ya Kisukuma kutoka Sengerema na kabila ya Kirwandiz na pia na kabila ya Kijerumani Dar es Salaam ulifikaje <sighs> <laughs> Nilikuja kusoma. Naona kuna family friend ambaye uh, after after niko home na mtoto aliona ni bado niko mdogo akasema you need to continue studying. Kwa hiyo akasema you can find her. do you think you can find unaweza kumwacha mtoto kaja kujiendeleza masomo? Uh, yeah so ikamwachia mtoto wangu sister yangu na kama miaka miwili ndio nikaleja huko Dar es Salaam. This is a very long story. I want to know the story. <laughs> I want to know the story because mm. eh ulivyokuja da and then ukapata mtoto mwingine. Mm. Lakini huu mtoto mwingine ambaye ulimpata ulikuwa sasa msichana. Was it your choice au yenye pia ilikuwa accident? I was actually uh, wanapishana miaka miwili tu. Woi. Okay. Accident or no accident? Well, the person who brought me to put to uh, help me in my, my education became the father of the second child. Hmm. Accident or no accident? I don't know. It wasn't planned. Okay.